Okay, let's pray. Father, our Most High, our Redeemer, our Savior, our assurance, our protection, our reason for being, our reason for wanting to be, our reasons for wanting to see, our reasons for wanting to do, to get, in your name for your glory to give, we come before you. And Father, I pause and I struggle for words because there are seemingly no words for the Spirit in me that you grant me, grant us, both to listen, to express prayer, and to express it, to speak it, to share it, to proclaim, to listen, communicate. It's a beautiful thing. Endless, eternal, infinite, never-ending, bountiful, boundless, eternal, infinite, celestial, and glorious. With this, Father, the strong, expressive praise, this opening to this prayer, to your gloriousness, to your glorious name, is for every reason, Lord, of which most we don't know, don't understand, don't see, don't get in its entirety, not even close, but the reason for this morning's expressiveness in this area, Father, is that we are all blessed here in you, for you, through you, because of you, in line with you, in your spirit, in our love for you, in your love for us, in our service to you, and in your bountiful giving to us. We together embattled as a small group against the tyranny of the demonic, the tyranny of governments and the deep state that drives them. We thank you, Father. We come before you to thank you. And our first value is to love you with all our hearts, all our souls, all our beings, all our bodies, all our hearts, all our minds, all our spirits. Secondly, in that love to serve you, second value. The first value being to love you with our whole heart, whole soul, whole being, to serve you within that love. And the third element, which is the first virtue, to live in spirit, Father. And I'd like to thank you here, our Lord, that we understand this greater every day. We understand that we don't just swim in the tide, swim with the tide, swim with the flow, that only because of you we are able to swim against the tyranny of the white water, of the tyrannous rapids, that if it were not for you, would bash us against the rocks. We understand, Father, that because of your demonstrations of your love, what it means to be in the Spirit, our Lord. And you showed me recently, didn't you? What it means to be in the Spirit. And it came to me by way of a metaphor of a swoop, where you can have the swimming instructor, the lifesavers, the people, even the crowds. You can have the swimmers, you can have the pool cleaners, you can have the instruments, you can have the lanes, you can have the books, the videos, the tuition on swimming, yet it all comes to nothing when the swimming pool has no water in it. All the rest comes to nothing. And when it comes to swimming downstream, never mind upstream as we are, without the water, Father, your spirit, there is no swimming. There is no loving you, serving you in that love through those first two values and our first virtue to live in your and breathe and serve and love you in your spirit, not in the flesh, in your spirit, in your word, in your logos. And that example that you gave to me for me to be able to share it with others is just a beautiful example that is so graphic, so real, that just connects so strongly with Psalms 1. And you will be planted in streams of water and everything you do will succeed. How beautiful. But that water is essential. Without it, there is no life. Not physical, not emotional, not mental, no spiritual. There is no life without your water, without your spirit. So, Father, we thank you and we ask you to bless this day, Father. Bless this week. Have this week be the best week, Father, we've ever had. And we thank you, Lord, only by virtue of the spirit you grant us, the love we have for you through the spirit you've granted us in the first place and the service in you that through that very same spirit, we are blessed to be working, breathing, swimming in your spirit and streams of water as your scripture manifests itself in truth. Everything we do will succeed. 
is succeeding. We love you dearly. Through your son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen.